Who's the, uh, they got casters as well. Edmund? They got Vicky. Vicky, Edmund. They got Aristale. Uh huh. Meanwhile, to start things off, we're going to have Jansuko yeah. and Sazandora. Jansuko is someone I have actually been able to warm up against. Mm -hmm. Actually, really educated me in the ditto for this. And we got San, San, Zor, San Sazandora. San, Sazandora on the can. Like, definitely a character that people have been talking about for a very long time. He's able to get these combo strings off, and as soon as he's did an explosive 59 72 into the M Smash. That was almost a zero to death. Yeah, almost, but not quite. But as you saw, we saw it had last week, and we're seeing right here. Ken is explosive. Yeah. That is a zero to death coming off the shore. You can, what a great start from Sazadora. Yep. No, uh, no highlight reel because he did take 22%. But well, an explosive combo. That's the potential that Ken has, and people have been talking about. He gets these combos off, but. What are the weaknesses? Well, Ken has perhaps a linear recovery, so if you can get him off stage, he's very easy to two-frame if you don't go low. Uh, another thing that Ken oh perhaps Oh my lacks, goodness! Does not lack that down air, though. That's two stocks within 45 seconds. <laughs> Sazendora on a tear at the moment. He's literally on fire. This Ken is just taking... Jensuko for a ride, and you're telling about he needs to warm up. I think right now he needs to be warming up right now. 58% already. He's taken so much damage. He's off stage once more, but we'll flash to catch him out. Yeah, finally goes when you prepare safe options off stage. <laughs> I mean, that was over before you blink and you might have missed that one. That was crazy fast from Sazandora. Excellent work. Got an early kill and just rode the momentum all the way to the end. We just started. We did. We just started the stream. Already a three stock coming in from Sazandora. Impressive Ken play. Oh my god. That, that's like the Ken highlights that you see, right? I mean, oh. th that has to be pretty close to ideal. Yeah, because he gets all those combo strings. He almost gets a zero to death at the start, finishes it with the three stock, gets a spike on the second stock, and it finishes up with the easy combos. It feels, especially if you're uh, Jansuko in this area, it feels overwhelming. And he's going to go to Young Link for the, the No, he is not. Okay. <laughs> great call outs, great call outs. Whoa. But. He felt so overwhelmed. Like, you could feel the pressure that was already on him and switching And now we see the Joker coming out. Can't blame Jansuko for trying to make the switch because that first game was just ugly from his perspective. Yeah, that's that disadvantage state that Wolf really struggles in, especially with people closing the gap really well. And remember, Ken also has shield break setups as well, so you're not safe by shielding his combos. Oh, no doubt. If you can get Joker off stage, you know, he can even just get back. So some of those edge guards that came out in game one, perhaps a bit less of a factor. But also, what's really good for uh, Jansuko, which I agree with the pick, is that you have an easier time of edge guarding, but 92% already, he's already at kill percent. Arsene coming out almost immediately, the down tilt will take him off stage, but not quite finishing the job yet. The egg on protecting Jansuko's recovery. Getting a little bit of damage off, but the up smash can catch him out for a little more damage going for the Shoryuken, but no punish on that one just yet, but, oh, he went for that. He actually got the up smash, Jansuko went for a grab, but, and then the end it did whiff, and Sanzandora once again with an impressive lead. Yeah, picking up where he left off in game one, Sanzandora looking like a machine at the moment, even falling victim into that one drag down up air. He's still in a healthy lead, and that Rebels guard will only slightly close the gap. And getting a little bit ninja to Tatsumaki coming into play, but pressing kick unable to land itself, but the Hadouken does catch it out, but the up smash once again, Sanzandora has a complete read on Jensuka, and he just needs one hit in order to confirm into that Shoryuken. Arsene almost expired, and these jabs will just deplete the meter entirely. What well, just really good Arsene meter management from Sazandora, and even if he's getting comboed, you know, getting these straight hits in will just ruin Aww. any chance Jansuko has at finding a kill with Arsene. Is it just hurts. Is he even going to take a stock this entire set? I, I hope so, because here's the, here's the thing. What we're seeing right now is that's a big one. That could have been a punish, but unable to find anything, but does get the edge guard. That's what I was just about to talk about, is that with this Joker, you have an easier time edge guarding with that back air and that forward air. But that was like the plan in this moment. You can see that he can go for these edge guards, right? But you can't edge guard when Sensendora is comboing you. But right now he's fighting back, but as soon as they speak, 22% already, and he's crossed them up with these Tatsumakis. Yeah, he's just going for five or six <laughs> in a row. Seven, when will this stop? Finally throws out the Tetragon to put an end to this. Don't look at me, Sensen. He looked at me when I was laughing about his Tatsumakis, but will it punish it? Oh, he's gonna keep going, isn't he? I mean, there's no crowd at the moment. Everyone's playing the round one, but if there was, he'd be playing to it. Good, sure you can Ooh. protect his recovery, but focuses right through that. And here comes the shield break setup. Does is forced to drop the shield, knowing exactly the potential of it. Here comes the down tilt, trying to catch something out, but the get up attack, going to counter it out easily. Here comes the rolls, the back air. If Chen, if Chen Su can close the stock out with that F tilt, that gives him a little better chance, but 75%, you're already at 
you're two hits away from dying. And this is the situation where it's useful to have the Rebellion Gauge empty because you don't want Arsene coming up too early. If your opponent's at 0%, you're not going to find a kill, and it's going to be away when you actually need it at these later percents. Mm -hmm. And Unnamed's going to get these combos down, but the Nair Shares is going to land. He's looking for the up to a great parry, but unable to find a punish. The Aha will only take him up to 27%. Needs to tack out a bit more damage for even going for a hard punish. And focus attack not going to land at all, but Sansadora. 53% on. I mean, he's still a little bit careful because Arsene's going to come back online very soon. Yeah, this looked very one sided to begin this, but John Suko is pulling it back. Arsene almost online as well any second now. Oh, he actually fell out. Jan going to be safe for now, but Tatsumaki can force him out in a bad situation. Down smash, not going to catch it out. And oh, but that surely will. Excellent reach up with the Shoryuken. Sazendora a lot closer than game one, but it's a victory nonetheless. He's laughing it out. He, you know. He knows, he knows, he, he knows I saw those Tatsumakis coming out left and right. Oh, no doubt. Over and, and over again. He did just survive at the end. Bit testy with yeah. a neutral, but you know, in the end, he managed to seal it out using the large lead he just amounted in games one and two. Yeah, it got a little close at the end. A little closer than probably Sandstar 1 wanted. Because remember, the zero best of three is at the same.